Well, too often this is what you see when you we talk about Central Ohio neighborhoods. Well, the truth is these flashing lights are only part of the story. And that's exactly why we're kicking off a new series here at 10 TV about the places we call home. Well, these are stories told from the perspective of people who live there. Tonight, Angela Reigert and photojournalist Nikki Thacker are putting things in focus. They're showing how Hilltop neighbors are taking small steps to send a strong message that they care about their community. Well, I'm Savon Jones, and I moved, uh, moved to the west side when I was like 16. You got something too, pretty girl? Come on. <laughs> I love you, girl. Uh, I got my three kids with me. I got my son, that's my junior, that's Savon Jones. I got my, my youngest boy, that's Taji Jones, that's my dog. And I got my baby girl, Zara. And uh, basically, hey, we just coming to help the community. That's all we come here to do. All right, yeah, yeah. How would you describe the hilltop? How would I, serious question? Yeah. How would I describe the hilltop? Well, dirtiest place in, the dirtiest place in Columbus. We couldn't do this nice event without the support of everyone. Um, the 19th annual South Central Hilltop uh, Spring Cleanup. We've been doing it for 19 years. It would have been 20 years, but we had COVID last year. We started out with just a few people at the side of my house. We did one street, and that was back in 2002. We've been doing it every year. My name is Lisa Boggs. I live on Aug South Ogden Avenue on the hilltop of Columbus, Ohio. When it's warmer weather, I'm out a couple times a week clean and trash in, the, in my immediate neighborhood. And then I like going to other people's trash cleanups too. So, but uh, why do you do it? Why do I do it? Because it needs done. And when a community is blighted and trashed, it, people don't respect it and people don't feel good about living there. And it's even gotten, you know, more than that, it's, just horrible for our earth. Okay, pretty girl. Okay, pretty girl. Thank you. Come on. Five years from now, it's gonna be a bad place. That's if y'all don't start investing into this place. Like, it'd be a, a bunch of cops out here and stuff. I only think they can help. The mayor, the governor, they the ones that gotta, you feel me? They gotta put their foot down. Do you think individuals doing little bits like this, what they can yeah, do? Yeah, that help. I think that help, like us, like we helping. Like this gonna make us better in some type of way. I think this help. But we gotta keep doing this. We can't just do this like once a year, once a, you feel me? I see something right there, Tosh. We need to make a presence out in these streets because this is where the, the kids are. Exactly, so when she have her baby, it might be good. Come on, pretty girl. So when he have his baby, it might be a better situation. That's what we're trying to get to, I hope. There'll be trash on the ground again, but the trash that we pick up today will never be on the ground again. And that gives us solace that, hey, we, we, we made a difference today. And that's today is all we have. All right, great look at that area. Columbus City leaders say they are investing two and a half million dollars this year for projects, including the Cleaner Columbus Initiative. That money will help to hire people this summer to clean up litter in our city. Now, some have asked, why can't we have more trash pickups in areas that need it, like the hilltop? Well, leaders say that price tag would be tens of millions of dollars. Tens of millions of dollars, that's obviously a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but you're going to have residents who say, well, the, what's the cost, right? Rightfully so. Um, to completely understand that sentiment. We, again, we've got to do a better job with enforcement. We're, we're doing, we're putting the effort in to make sure that we're catching these people that are doing it. When there's overflow situations, we have to continue to push on uh, personal responsibility, talking with our landlords to make sure that they're talking with their tenants you know, those types of situations. And there's gotta be accountability with everyone to make our, our city look better. And recycling is also a part of that. So if you wanna learn how to start, we have a link for you right now on our website. Just go to 10tv.com.